I'm Mayans and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, I'm Melody Maya and I talk about everything in my transgender, lesbian, and asexual life that you would really like to know about but are afraid to ask. So if that sounds like the kind of content you'd like to watch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. One of the messages I get in my DMs quite a bit from many of you is, how long will it take to see certain changes during your transitions? Usually the person sending me the messages has been on hormones for like six months or a year and I can tell that there's like a lot of anxiousness and a lot of stress behind these messages. And I completely understand why you feel like you're taking the cure to your dysphoria, but it's taken a lot longer than you hoped or expected it to. And I know you've probably been told, especially by a doctor, that it's going to take patience. But you know, patience is in short supply when you want to fill out your bra already, right? <laughs> So I thought today we'd take a little trip down memory lane, a two year trip in fact. Back to those awkward days when I was a transgender teen, and by that I don't mean literally a teen, I mean I was like a 40 year old teenager, starting puberty all over again with all the physical and emotional changes that that entails. And the first image I want to share with you is this one, which is ground zero. This is what I looked like on the day I took my very first estrogen pill. It's actually ethanol estradiol that was made for me at a compounding pharmacy, which is why it doesn't look like the estradiol pills that of you probably take today. Fast forward to the end of November of that year and now I'm starting to see my first changes. I had trimmed up my eyebrows into a more feminine shape although still a little incognito. My hair was still at that super awkward length because I had stopped cutting it in about August that year so it had grown maybe an inch and a half total by that point. So much of transitions is about hair. Just the hint of softening like the barest hint and I just started like laser from my facial hair so you can see that it is still growing in this. I still have stubble. I hate this photo of me by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like me at all anymore. Fast forward another month and a half and here I am finally as like full on Maya. But um, I'm sitting on the steps of the home that I was about to leave a week later. Ooh, it is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. And I had been playing with makeup up to that point, but I hadn't really been able to put a look together. And this was the first time I was able to do something. It's very subtle, but I think I did a pretty good job. Although I will say it took probably about an hour to do this. And that's a blue tunic that I think I'd bought, if I remember correctly, at Lane Bryant. And we'd also bought a little bit of jewelry. So, you know, that long necklace that I'm wearing and also those earrings, which are totally clip-ons. I thought this kind of looked cool, so I tragically wore it to a lesbian club. <laughs> Of course, looking back on it now, it looks kind of frumpy and very old lady, which is not me at all. I'm almost exactly 10 years older now than I was in this photo, and I think I look younger now, which is kind of weird, but I think true. And just to be totally honest about where I was in my transition, here is another photo from the same set, but from a totally different angle. And I don't know about you, but I think I look a lot more masculine there. At least I can see the old me in there quite a lot more. It was a lot braver back then than I thought. I just wanted to show you that we all start somewhere. The person you see in front of you isn't the person that began this journey. And now here I am exactly six months to the day after I took that first estrogen pill. It's April 6, 2011, and I'm in a Macy's department store. Because for some crazy reason, I thought I needed a seat to go interview at Disney casting. <laughs> My hair still is terrible. Oh gosh, I hated my hair for so long. But even under the suit jacket, you can tell that I have some breasts. And I'm looking pretty femme by this point, even the way I carry myself, the way I hold myself in this photo. I'm no longer editing myself by this point. You can see like my full on femininity coming out, which is something really interesting to see looking back. You know, it was just naturally there. And from my own perspective, I can see that I'm starting to cross that divide from the old male life to my new female life. So June, 2011 comes along and here I am in the backyard of my mom's house in Claremont, Florida, and my hair is starting to finally get to a useful length. I still can't quite do much with it, but you know, it doesn't look as bad as it did before. I also have my ears pierced finally, and I'm wearing these hoop earrings that I think I wore maybe every day for a year. But it took me a while to relax into that presentation where I didn't have to like be outwardly feminine all the time. This is also shortly after I put down my deposit with Dr. Bowers for my gender confirmation surgery the following year. So I'm starting to lose weight because I needed to lose a whole lot of weight before I got to the point where they would even do the surgery on me. And that was incredible motivation, let me tell you that. So by the end of that first year of hormones, this is about what I look like. My hair is starting to look pretty cute, you know, kind of flippy there, right? I'd gotten some highlights put in. I'm starting to feel like I am really me at this point. And I've also worked for Disney for an entire summer, which is why I have that farmer's tan right there in my neck. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. And now a month after that, I'm working a treat shift at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I was thrilled to be in this costume. I saw so many people wear it and I was dying to wear it. 
and I just thought it was so much cuter than the costume they would issue women as part of the Tomorrowland Speedway, which is actually where this photo is taken. And the next month, here I am, and I can really, really see that by this point, I am just full-on woman, right? My natural curl now is totally there, as curly as it can be, with all the highlights in it. And my best friend had come to visit me, Jessie, kind of meeting me for the very first time. And she took this photo, which I gotta say is one of my favorites. So this is what about a year's worth of hormones had done for me. By this point, I think it was pretty clearly on the feminine side of the scale, but there would still be changes to come. Puberty does not take a year, it doesn't take six months, it takes years for cisgender women. Here I am in January 2012 and you can tell there have been more changes. This is at my rebirthday party which a bunch of friends had thrown me just before I was about to go off to get my surgery. And I had gone all out. I went to David's Bridal and got this dress which cost me like $250 or something insane money I could not really afford at the time. I'd gotten a tiara and I even went to MAC Cosmetics to get my makeup professionally done, which wow, she did an amazing job. And I know this is a Saturday night because as soon as this party was over, I went over to Revolution where they were hosting their weekly lesbian night. And I got so much attention when I walked in wearing this dress and all that makeup and everything. People were stopping me and telling me how good I looked and how much they loved my dress. And you know, I gotta say that didn't hurt. So a couple weeks after that, I get my gender confirmation surgery, which of course involves removing your testicles. And I don't know why that makes a difference but it actually really does. Even with the testosterone suppressors they put you on before that, maybe the changes are just mental, the way you carry yourself. You know, they don't have something in the way, so you will walk differently. <laughs> But from that point forward, I felt just so confident in my femininity and my womanhood. And I think you can see that in this photo because this is literally taken like the moment I had woken up. I looked in the mirror and I saw my hair just kind of all crazy with the curls and everything. And I thought I looked cute. So I took a photo. And in fact, a very curious thing started happening at this point. I started actually like reintegrating some of my past things that I would have thought of as masculine. I stopped worrying if I was feminine enough. I just simply knew that I was. So I started being less cautious about how I presented myself. In my natural style is kind of a hybrid. I like being very relaxed about the way I look. And here I am back in Revolution, my hair all wild and highlighted and a good length, t-shirt off the shoulder, and a very much more relaxed style than the very first time I ever went to Revolution. My awkward stage is pretty much done. And this last photo I included because I just wanted to show how far I came in two years. This is Halloween 2012 and I had decided to go as butch as I could possibly go. All the clothes I'm wearing in that photo I had owned before my transition. From somebody who really truly still saw a boy when she looked in the mirror two years before, to this where I suddenly realized I couldn't actually pass for boy anymore, even when I tried. It took two years, but yeah, I finally got there. And that was quite a shock. And I have to say, it probably took another two years before I was totally done with all my changes. By then they get very, very small, but they do build up to the person you see now. <laughs> So for those of you out there impatient and wondering when things are gonna happen, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take more than one or two or three months. They say transition is like a freight train. It just has its own life. It keeps moving forward no matter what. And that is totally true. Nothing can deny it from arriving at its destination. Just remember that you're on the local train though and not the express. All right, so I'm gonna end right there. Let me know in the comments the changes you experienced in your transitions. Or if you're just starting, let me know the changes that you hope to see. Or just give me your reactions to the pictures. I can take it. As always, my social media is also down below and if you have a dime to spare please consider giving to my patreon and on that note please like this video by giving it a thumbs up please share this video and please subscribe and see you around the interwebs <laughs> <laughs>